Hey, this is Warren Redlick, and I talk about something a little different today. It's Tesla Mega Pack. Mega Pack is coming. It's already out there, but there's a new me version of Mega Pack. There's a Mega Pack factory that is ramping. It's going to have a big impact on Tesla's bottom line. We're talking billions, 20 billion or so in revenue, maybe $10 billion in, in gross profit. This is a big deal for Tesla. Let's talk about it. Are you ready? Let's go. Right here, you can see this is the location of the Tesla Mega Pack factory. As best I can determine it, there's not a lot of news about the Mega Pack factory. When I look around, it's not listed on Tesla's website. But you can see here on Google Maps, Tesla Mega Pack Factory, 701 Darcy Parkway, Lathrop, California. There's a whole bunch of Tesla buildings in here. Let me just make this bigger so you can see. There's a Tesla Motors, there's a Tesla Service Distribution Center. There's at least one other, oh, there's a Tesla maintenance building. There's a few things. There's a Tesla Drive or a Tesla Road. There's a whole bunch going on here. This is close to Tesla's Fremont factory. So this is the place that Tesla has said they're going to produce 40 gigawatt hours of mega packs. You can see here the recent news, August 12th, is that Tesla updated their website. I'm going to show you this on their website. They're now using a mega pack XL using lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is important because it frees up nickel-based batteries. When they're making Megapack before, they were using nickel-based batteries, maybe 1865s that go in Model S and X, or 2170s that go in Model 3 and Model Y. This frees up those nickel-based batteries using uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are used in the China-made vehicles to some extent, and may be used in European-made vehicles, but have not been used in US-based vehicles. Lithium iron phosphate is lower energy density. A lithium iron phosphate battery pack is gonna be somewhat less range longer cycle life so the battery will actually last longer but that's much better for energy storage use and you can see here it's 50 percent more powerful than the previous mega pack powered by lithium iron phosphate batteries this is from tasmanian capacity increased from 2.6 megawatt hours to 3.9 megawatt hours 64 percent heavier and and bigger larger in size because of the volumetric energy density lithium iron phosphate cells take up about twice as much space for the per kilowatt hour as a nickel based cell they weigh more about 50 percent more so they take up more space more volume so the mega pack ends up being larger and heavier but that's not a big deal when you're doing this kind of application for grid storage it's a big deal for cars you don't want it to weigh too much you don't want it to be so big that you can't fit it in the car so those are the big that's the big deal so this is happening and Giga, the mega factory is supposedly ramping and it's going to reach 40 gigawatt hours is the long-term plan now this is from the Tesla website. You can see that you can order one mega pack quantity. I'm going to show you the different quantities that you can order. You can order up to a thousand of them. So this gets fun. But 3.9 megawatt hours, we would get it in 2024. If you order today, you get it in 2024. So they're backlogged. The price of a mega pack is $2.4 million. The annual maintenance, this. In theory, this has an impact on Tesla's bottom line. In reality, this just doesn't add up to a lot of money, the annual maintenance that they charge for supporting Megapack. Uh, the big deal is what this means for annual revenue when you sell 40 gigawatt hours of these a year. This is three megawatt hours. I'm going to show you what happens when we expand that. You go to 10 units up here, 10 units. You're still delivering in Q2 2024, so you got to wait a while. Now you're at 38 megawatt hours instead of 3.9 megawatt hours. And you're talking about $20 million in revenue for Tesla. Again, the $40,000 in maintenance. I just don't think that's big of a deal. What if you ordered 100 units? 385 megawatt hours. That's 100 units, same delivery time. Almost $200 million. And we'll go one step up and we'll go to 1,000 units. And 1,000 units, you can see we're at 4 gigawatt hours almost. Remember, the factory is going to have a capacity of 40 gigawatt hours. And I saw some indications that they actually are... That may be an understatement and they may achieve more like uh, 47 or maybe even 50 gigawatt hours annual capacity. But let's go with 40 gigawatt hours. This is 4 gigawatt hours. So Tesla's ultimate results would be 10x of this when they deliver 40 gigawatt hours of mega pack. So here you've got $2 billion, almost $2 billion in revenue from four gigawatt hours of mega pack. Remember, this is actually a little less than four gigawatt hours. So you can call it about $2 billion. You can play with this a little bit. If you don't include installation, this number comes down a little bit, but we're talking ballpark figures, $20 billion in revenue. 10 X of this would be $20 billion of annual revenue for Tesla. If they're able to deliver 40 gigawatt hours of mega pack. And keep in mind, this is the first mega pack factory 
it's likely they're going to expand. They're going to build more mega pack factories. But just in the short run, for maybe 2024, we could possibly see Tesla delivering $20 billion in annual revenue from delivering mega packs to, to customers. That's a big deal. Now, the other side of this is when you look at, let's go back to the one mega pack. So you've got 3.9 megawatt hours, $2.4 million. I'm saying the average price, you've got 2.4 million per unit at the low end. You've got, you know, 1.8 million or 1.6 million at the high end. If you figure some orders are small and some orders are large, you're going to work out with somewhere in the ballpark of $2 million a mega pack. And that's where you get the $20 billion number that I came with, came up with. What's the cost of a mega pack? Well, at 3.9 megawatt hours, that's 3,900 kilowatt hours. If a kilowatt hour of lithium iron phosphate cells is about $100, I think it's actually less than that for Tesla's contract, but if it's about $100, then what you're talking about here is $300,000 or $400,000, about $400,000 for the cells, or something you're selling for $2 million. This is the biggest cost component of Megapack is the battery cells, and it's like $400,000. So if you figure maybe the total cost of mega pack is a million dollars and you sell it for $2 million, that's 50% gross margin. That's fantastic. That means Tesla's making $10 billion in annual gross profit on mega pack when they deliver 40 gigawatt hours a year. And again, remember 2025, 2026, we probably see additional mega factories. They probably get more efficient at mega factories as lithium iron phosphate cell production scales. They may be able to get better pricing on mega on lithium iron phosphate and drive the pre- the cost down to Tesla. And you're seeing potentially a huge boost to Tesla's revenue and and profit. This is a big deal going forward. I'm not saying it's everything. The vehicles are still more important. The robo taxi, if they're able to deliver robo taxi, if they're able to deliver bot, those are more important. Those add more value to Tesla. But in your bear case where robo taxi never happens and bot never happens and they they don't add significantly to the company, Mega Pack becomes a big deal, right? I think. The bull case is true. We're going to see RoboTaxi. We're going to see bot. But when you're figuring out bear cases, there's basically unlimited demand for Megapack. I mean, there's, they're, they're taking orders for 2024. Their backlog is, is like two years, right? We're, we're, in Q, we're not even in Q4 2022. They've got a two-year backlog on Megapack. They have basically unlimited demand for Megapack. As Megapack grows and demonstrates its value to customers, that demand is even going to grow. So... This is huge for Tesla, and you can just see down the road as they expand Megapack and reach out to other utilities and other potential customers. Large office buildings might use this. Large grocery stores, you know, like a a full-size Walmart or something like that could conceivably use a Megapack. There's a lot of potential applications for Megapack. Solar farms. You can see where this is just a, a very large potential business, and 40 gigawatt hours is just the start. So you can imagine 10 Megapack factories making similar volumes and you get a huge huge volume of revenue for tesla you know 10 times 20 billion a year is 200 billion a year it's not out of reach to say they're going to be able to do something like that with mega pack down the road not 2025 they were talking more 2026 2027 2030 approaching 2030 we may see that volume of mega packs out there production and delivery and that kind of revenue. And that's a significant impact. And when you're looking at how do I value Tesla stock, if you see this product line that Wall Street never talks about ramping to $20 billion a year in revenue in the short run and $200 billion a year in revenue in the long run, $10 billion in gross profit in the short run and $100 billion in gross profit in the long run, this is a big positive impact on Tesla stock. Wall Street doesn't get it. If you're a retail investor, you can see it. You can do the math yourself. So that's it. What do you think about Mega Pack? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the t-shirts. I got a Cybertruck t-shirt for you. T-shirts at elonbits.com. Check out my other videos. Please support this channel on Patreon, Locals, the YouTube channel member, links below. Please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.